Good morning, it's Friday, January 21st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Getting on the Right Side of History, and our scriptures from Romans chapter 12, where the Apostle Paul writes, So, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. In writing to the Roman believers, Paul echoed the heartbeat of Moses, the lawgiver whom God used to set Israel free. Moses was a man who learned the hard way. Maybe that's why I admire the M man so much. He learned how to serve and love God. Moses wanted, above all, to be on the right side of history. He had a sense of justice that got him in trouble with people all the time, but he had the stamp of God's favor on what he did. Born a nobody to Israelite parents in captivity to Egypt, Moses was in danger of being snuffed out before his first birthday. So his mother set him adrift in a floating basket near the place where the Pharaoh's daughter breathed. This plan worked, and Moses' nobody was accepted and raised to be in a seat of power somebody. Later, true to form, Moses got in trouble trying to break up a fight and bring justice, but he was banished from his somebody position to life on the backside of the desert. He spent the next 40 years being a nobody. But God was preparing Moses to serve. History would see the man born to be a nobody in obscurity, raised to kingly aspirations of the great somebody kind, exiled to less than obscurity, tending sheep like an insignificant nobody, who finally became the kind of somebody who was willing to be a nobody and could truly be called the friend of God. It all came about because of what Paul would later describe as a surrender to God's will. Moses turned his back on the world's ways and accepted whatever God would require of him life, limb, or reputation, and he used every ounce of whatever strength God placed in his hands to serve the will of his master. Coming back to Egypt was what Moses saw as the test, but the real test was months before, in private, when the nobody from the Midian desert, who was a former somebody of Pharaoh's household, took off his shoes in front of a bush that burned without burning up and surrendered to the will of God, who was so big he wasn't named by anybody. He just told Moses, I am. Getting on the right side of history has never meant winding up with the most toys, the biggest bank account, or having people think your short existence on this planet was great. It has everything to do with who will be ruling long after this world's leaders, cultures, current affairs, and movements are long forgotten. For you today, Moses was driven to find God's will for his life, and the man born a nobody became history's somebody because he was willing to give every bit of who he was in this human body to open his life to God's plan. Now, if that sounds like a plan to get on the right side of history to you, but it doesn't describe where you are or have been yet, remember, the bush never burned up. He still speaks, and he still loves, and you are still wanted. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.